Welcome to Pitch in the Zone, our weekly gathering of coaches that help one presenter with a three-minute pitch. The coaches include Nathan Gold and Scotty Spurzum, both of them hailing from San Francisco. We have Michael Marchak in Chicago and Rick Pollack up in Boston, Massachusetts. And of course, Massimo Peroncelli joining us from Thailand. And our presenter today is Vahid Kademi, and his company is called Pine. Vahid, welcome to Pitch in the Zone. And before we start, just so that all of the coaches can put on the right hat, what is the audience for your pitch today? Good morning, all. Uh, today, my audience uh, is uh, investor mainly. The investor and, and and i believe it's early stage right early stage right yes okay okay so before i turn the floor over to vahid just a quick note to our coaches vahid is pretty new to the entire pitch world uh, he has just started to put together his pitch so please look at it as a first attempt in finding the structure. Uh, this is by no means refined yet. This is a very, very, very early pitch that we are going to see here today. Mahid, with that, if you are going to share your screen, please set up now. And we also have Massimo who is going to keep the time. So if you want to keep an eye on Massimo's um, uh, little window, you will see the countdown timer going down from three minutes down to two. He will reset it as soon as you're going to start to speak. With Perfect. that, Vahim, once again, welcome to Pitch in the Zone, and the floor is yours. Yay! Hi, everybody. Uh, at the first, I would like to thank you for your time and your uh, guidance. I'm Bahit, uh, the founder and CEO of Pine. I have established the Pine around one and a half years ago to pursue two big uh, challenges that our face is um, um, that our planet is facing right now: the emission and energy. To doing so, I started with transportation sector. Why? Because it's the number one source of emission in the USA. More than that, this sector consumes around quarter of the total energy in the US, in the USA. Also, uh, around 10% of the total USA GDP goes to transportation sector. In transportation sector, I choose the truck industry because it has such a big market cap, $800 billion, and a good thing for us, and but not for fleet owner, this uh, industry has a very low profit margin compared to other industries. It means that if we could improve like only few percent, two percent of the operating cost, it uh, benefit the uh, fleet owner um, to, in to enhance their profit margin maybe by 10 or 20 percent. Uh, what we want to do to improve uh, the fuel efficiency and also reduce emission. We try to be very practical. We have developed a new technology that replaced the old exhaust systems, as you can see on the mm, left side that shows uh, highlighted in blue, and also the um, filtration system, that's the intake air filter system that shows on the uh, right side. And those two systems uh, will be uh, controlled by AI. So the good thing about this uh, technology is that it can be implemented in less than one day. So it means that the fleet can enjoy the reduction in the operating cost from the very first day that they implement this system into their old or new truck. And the other um, side, our planet can uh, benefit from uh, reducing the emission from the very first day as well. So far, um, I have made uh, several MVPs that works great as well as several patents were fine. And uh, also I had an extensive uh, customer survey by attending in an international uh, tracking conferences. 
And the other, uh, the last thing, but for sure not the least, uh, we have our beta prototype that will be delivered by the end of uh, this week. Uh, right now, I'm, uh, I do believe that we together can keep our planet green and blue forever if we mm, want to. So right now, I'm looking for investment to expand the office and team, as well as to expand uh, some report tests for our uh, technology. Thank you very much for your time. Excellent, excellent, excellent. For our first, first attempt, again, uh, pretty good. And uh, let me stop your, your slide, share, slide sharing there. There's one thing I really, really missed, Vahid. And um, I, I quickly had to run away here to close the doors because there were some dogs outside barking and, and making a lot of noise. I may have missed it. But you have such a tremendous credentials and it didn't, I, I, I think I didn't hear anything along that line. You are a very, very modest person and perhaps a pitch like this is the time to shed that just a little bit and brag a little bit because you have more reasons than so many other people to do that. But let me start the round of feedback. I'm going to start with Michael today. Michael, what kind of feedback do you have for Vahid? Well, Vahid, um, congratulations on starting your this process. And um, you are in good hands with the coaches on this call. We are all very interested in helping you to become the best version of you as you're making your pitches. So we're really happy that you're here. Um, as part of the pitch, you mentioned you were talking to investors. And it took me a minute and a half to listen about the, the planet and the emissions and that kind of stuff to know actually what you even did. So I, I didn't know what you were even making um, or designing or planning on selling until halfway through the pitch. Um, so maybe you want to push that up a little bit further in the, in the presentation. I'm sure some of the other coaches will be able to help you with that. Um, on the, the business side, I still don't know as an investor, put my investor hat on listening to this here, I wasn't really sure who your target customer was. You mentioned you know, fleets of, of trucks and whatnot, um, but I wasn't sure if you're planning on manufacturing this or you're planning on, on selling the IP and licensing it and whatnot. Don't know how you're planning on making money from this particular venture. Um, so understanding that would be a really good thing for an investor pitch. If you say it's an investor pitch, you want to know as an investor, put your investor head on. Someone's asking you for money. What would you want to know? You know, when can I get my money back? Will I make a profit at this? Uh, how long is it going to take? What are you going to use the money for? That kind of stuff. So going into that kind of with that viewpoint of if you're really asking investors for something, let them know where the benefits are for them to be getting involved in your project. Um, they may be very excited about the, um, you know, the specific industry that you're in. They may not be, but you're know, bringing them into understanding where the, the benefits lie. Even someone who may be in a different type of industry, they look at this and really appreciate the fact that um, this is hitting a different chord that they haven't been used to. And the potential, um, potential for this is so great that I really would want to you know, maybe revise how I look at this and potentially get involved with it. But I didn't really know much more about it. So um, some of those things would be good. I put some notes in the chat, so if you, you can grab those later. But I'm, I'm really happy that you're here, and we're so happy that you're able to um, to go forward with this because I think it's going to be a really interesting project as you as you move forward. Thank you very much for the feedback. I cannot hear you. Sorry. All right. I was actually wondering whether I want to. I, I got a new T-shirt that says you are on mute and i was wondering whether i want to wear that and <laughs> i will be the right target for that message here today um rick what kind of feedback can you provide for vahid right uh, vahid i i like the idea i agree with michael's comments that uh it didn't really come across till you know a minute and a half two minutes uh my suggestion would just be open opening with a stock image of a big exhaust cloud coming out of a truck because that's showing the problem. Everyone's been behind the truck with that big diesel exhaust. And the problem is within one day, you can modify that truck with a return on investment of one to two years. 
and save the environment and save the truckers money. I mean, that that's really your, you know, 10 second elevator pitch of what it is in an investor pitch in, into a very small, you know, one sentence thing. And, and that's what I got. And, and you had that information in there. You mentioned the ROI, you mentioned you know, how that worked with AI, but that I think can be much closer to the beginning and visually show that big cloud of exhaust and that make sure that's the problem that you're solving. Uh, so I, I think that's, you know, that that's my comment on there of, you know, as you revise that pitch, make it very clear what problem you're solving. You can do it quickly and they'll, they'll pay for itself for, you know, very soon. Uh, also just a comment. Uh, I don't think your audio was up to par. I don't know if you're using the internal mic on your laptop, but I had trouble hearing you. And if you want to go with, uh, an external microphone, uh, I just recommended the, um, Yeti, which was, uh, I think it used to be 150 bucks. They have a new model called the Yeti Nano, which is like 80 bucks now. Uh, but that's definitely something. Plug it into a USB port. Your audio is going to be a hell of a lot better uh, than it is now. Uh, but I think it's a great idea. And as you go on to the pitch, just make it very clear so an investor could tell someone this: uh, you know, "What was Vahid's product?" And you know, explain to me. Uh, you know what it is, what it does, why we should invest in it. So just make that very concise on you know what problem it solves, what the benefits are, and I, I think you're off to a good start. Thank you very much. Great, great, great feedback. Also, as always, Rick, thank you very much. I especially like your suggestion on an opening, including the slide, to really have this impact right from the beginning. Superb, very, very valuable feedback. Scotty, what kind of feedback do you have for our presenter, Vahid, today? Sure, sure. Vahid, um, uh, good job. It's always hard to do this, and especially when it's, it's new. Um, one thing I find when people first get into this pitch zone or the, the pitch mindset is speed as an issue. And I think part of the audio trouble is your speed of speech was very, very fast. And, and I also didn't detect a lot of variation in, in your voice. And so in American English in particular, we, we talk in thought groups. So we need to have some pauses between our thoughts so that the audience, and I'm seeing you nod, so that the audience can actually comprehend what we're saying. So we wanna hear your content, but if it's too fast and there's not enough variation, it, it becomes, less interesting for the listener and more difficult to, to comprehend it. So I would really watch your speed and try to work on um, more crispness and delivery of, of your words, because it's, it's kind of a dramatic effect that you need to offer for your audience to be able to hear it. Um, I, they, I also heard lots of um, ums, as I'm saying it also, and we all do it, but there were lots of ums and ahs and fillers, and those can also be a big distraction because we can't really tell when one thought is complete and you're moving on to another. So I was trying to listen and take notes, but I couldn't, I couldn't intuit a lot of it because of this combination of speed and, and some words, and I can talk to you about this another time. I'd be happy to have you follow up with me, but you've got, really got to watch the major stress in your key vocabulary. So the word emissions sounded like a mission. So I wasn't sure if you were on a mission for something or if you're dealing with emissions. So you really wanna check your key vocabulary. And again, I'm happy to talk to you about that a little bit separately. Again, as you were describing the problem, which took a little bit of time as other people have noted. Um, a couple of other things in terms of your business model. I don't really understand who will install it, where people can get it, you know, that kind of thing. I don't really understand the whole mechanism of it. I got the I got it that it's um, needed, <laughs> and I like to to keep the planet blue and green. I thought that was terrific at the end. Maybe you could bring that further up. Um, and one note, even looking at behind you, it's cool that there's a little truck behind you and the pine um, logo. The lights reflecting off of it, so it's really hard to see. Okay. So you might you might have an opportunity there to have your logo behind you or somehow superimposed in your background. And I thought I saw something on um, a slide that went very fast. And again, the, the, the vocabulary was too quick for me to hear about a patent patent pending or you've had patented things. So again, I still didn't quite get why you and how did you come up with this idea? I see. 
And I don't know if you're willing to share it now or share it later. Um, sure. So like, uh, yeah, actually, uh, I uh, did like a two PhD, one in mechanical engineering, another in material science and engineering. Slow down. Uh, yeah, you see. And also before establishing the Pi, um, I have worked in like uh, around seven years in different industry, including the automotive and Ford Motor Company, for example, and also different uh, startup that working in truck industry. So I have been into the industry for a couple of years, both from like industrial experience and exactly the truck industry, as well as I have extensive R&D and the product development experience. So Claudio mentioned that right away, but that's the hook. It's like, great idea. I have great ideas. There's no way I could implement that. You know, I might have thought of that, but I couldn't do it. You can actually do it and you thought of it and you're making it happen this week even. So I think I think you would really benefit from more of that in your in your pitch um, because that's everybody went. I don't know if you saw it, but I have everybody on gallery. Everybody kind of like sat up a little more. Their heads bobbed a little bit. So you've really got a great opportunity to craft a better story, craft an even better story about what you're doing. So okay, yeah, congrats Thank on you very the much. yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great feedback as always as well, Scotty and. I'm sure that Wahid and I we will be meeting maybe next week or in two weeks. And maybe I can include you into that meeting. Wahid, Scotty is a language expert. She's a language coach, right? So I believe that if we double team or even triple team and also pull Nathan in, who knows whether he has time or not. But I think we could get you super ready for then a next round here at Pitch in the Zone. So keep, keep that in mind. Um, and uh, with that, let's move on to Massimo. Massimo, what kind of feedback do you have for Wahid? Yes, thank you. Well, Wahid, uh, I would say I really liked your slides, especially for a first time uh, pitch, because we have people even two or three times coming here still with the same problems you know, too much text or not coherent. Yours were nice, look professional, clean. So congratulations on that. Go, going into the specific, like uh, Rick said, I think Rick, Rick's idea is very good, like starting with a stock image of a truck emission, you know, for the fumes and everything. And if, you, if it were up to me, I would start with something like, imagine a market of, $800 billion, and you can save 1%. And the market is the trucks or whatever, right? And then you get your, what we call the, hum, well, what Nathan calls the humble brag, and then uh, you say who you are, why you got the idea, and blah, blah, blah. So you, you can immediately get your audience okay. interested into that. And just a small thing in the, talking about the slides, as uh, Scotty said, we didn't really understand if you really patented something or not, but the clip part on this slide, it was kind of a, you know, one of those free clip parts. It didn't look official. So if you really patented something, maybe it would be better to put like the logo of the patent office with the patent number maybe, right? So it looks like the real one, not like a Photoshop slash, slash free one, right? So it would look even more professional it but is, congratulations yeah yeah it is uh, like uh, i filed the pro uh, three provisional patents for these technologies okay okay well i'm i'm uh, only I know, uh -huh. so yeah because just that one didn't really look real to me so it was it was not at the same level of the other you know content of the slides but as a first speech well Congratulations was uh, very good for 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 speech. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you. Excellent, excellent feedback as always, Massimo. Thank you so much. And moving right along to Nathan, what kind of feedback do you have? All right. So I won't repeat anything anybody else has said. Let's just get right to it. Could you please bring up your audio settings in Zoom mm -hmm. and tell me what it says where it says automatically adjust the microphone volume. Is it checked or not checked? Do you know how to do that? 
No, actually, I'm just so right right next to the mute button in Zoom. There's an up arrow. Click that up arrow, and you'll see at the bottom audio settings. Uh, sorry, could you just uh, repeat it again? Yes, uh, on, the, on the mute button on the Zoom at the bottom yes. left corner, there's yes. a little up arrow. Click that up arrow. Right. And at the very bottom of that list, you should see audio settings. I got it. All right. Now, in the middle of that screen that popped up where it says automatically adjust microphone settings, is it a volume? Is it checked or unchecked? It is checked. Uncheck it. Mm -hmm. And now we should be able to hear you much better. Oh, that's Don't easy. use that setting. Talk. Okay. Hi again. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we're not losing the beginning or the ending of what you're saying anymore. Okay. Good. So that's fixed. Unfortunately, that might that setting might go back, but you should check that. I, I wasn't clear when you said, are your patents issued or provisional? It's a provisional. How many? Three. Three. Okay. Uh, the reason I ask you that is because you remind me of the windshield wiper story from Ford. Have you heard about that? No, not really. There's a whole movie about it. Look up Robert Kearns. He was the guy that invented the intermittent windshield wiper. And he won one of the largest patent infringement cases ever. And so that patent you're putting in place could save you. And I mean, if you don't have that patent, I'd be very, very careful about how far you go out with this to people because, you know, anyway, I'm glad that your provisional patents are in place. I hope you have good, a good attorney. So look that up. I, I, I saw that movie a long time ago, and it's a really fascinating movie. So in the beginning of your presentation, you weren't breathing. You, I mean, your body was getting enough oxygen to just be able to say the words that you were saying, but did you notice that you had very little breath for about the first 30, 40 seconds? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I just, actually, I got up pretty late, so that was, I think, okay. everything was really cool. Okay, and we understand that you're, the, you're a night bird, right? <laughs> That's true. Okay, so I feel like your presentation could benefit by having a couple of pictures of those MVPs. Oh, oh that, the thing is that um, I didn't put them intentionally. I have a question for you. Do you think like that's a good idea that I just put it down, the MVPs? Well, it depends on what the purpose is. If you want to show that it's real, like someone mentioned before, the icons of the trucks, it didn't look real. But if you're sitting next to it or you're, or you're in the lab and you're pointing to it and you're touching it and showing it, it makes it real. Okay. Much more real in our minds. Maybe just one picture of the latest MVP or the one, a pictures really can help. They really can help. And then Claudia already mentioned the, uh, that will help you with the, the humble brag. And a little better lighting on your face is all I would do in terms of your look and feel. You could tilt your camera down just a tiny bit because there's a lot of space above your head. And please come back. We want to see you again and again, maybe two more times. We've yes, had people yes. come back three, four times. By the fourth time, they're ready to go pitch to investors sometimes. You might need that three or four yourself, but we're here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nathan. And we also today have a new guest on or in our meeting, Marianne. Hello and welcome to Pitch in the Zone. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm learned... not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure you came in about uh, about one third or half into the pitch, whether you noticed anything that you might want to point out to our speaker today. Uh, if so, please feel free. Oh, well, thank you. I, uh, I apologize for joining late and I don't actually have uh, any comments for Waleed. I've just been learning from what other people have mentioned and mm -hmm. didn't recognize some of those things at, that they were mentioning. But for example, some of the things that Scotty, that you said, I, I suddenly recognized them based on, on hearing that small part of what Waleed was saying. But I am actually really intrigued, Waleed, and I look forward to seeing your next pitch and uh, learning more about your product. I'm, I'm very curious. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you very much. And uh, with that, we are actually getting to the end of our session here today. As I mentioned before, Nathan mentioned it, Wahid, 
please come back and get on my calendar in between and we will have your pitch in a superb shape before you know it so it was a real real pleasure to have you here uh, let me ask you one last question was this helpful to you and if so in what way uh sure i think that was super helpful for me <laughs> so like having the feedback such a, like a nice and good feedback especially like uh going uh, to the topic and subject at the very beginning you know, it's just like waiting one to the half of the presentation i think that was a very good one and also thanks for scotty for like a very uh, valid points about my pronunciation and just up and down and how to uh, the keyboards i think it was very good and also thanks nathan and the other guy uh, for the very uh, good and um, feedback i'm sure that with your help i could just evaluate my uh, pitch a lot excellent excellent so we all look forward to you coming back and seeing the progress that you make from version to version as you know this is an iterative process and you are at the very very beginning but you are you are tackling this in the right way i think I believe many, many people, they would have been happy if resources like ours here would be around in their early phase of the pitch. So I look forward to seeing you back. And with that, I wish everybody a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll see each other again next week. See you. Bye bye.